1954, the new lead and iron operations opened on the site of Old Mine. In 1969, malformed local fauna prompts the assignment of Dr. J. Peters to the iron mine. In 1970, Dr. Peters discovers abnormally large species of gray rock worm. On the 21st of August 1972, an accident involving large-scale deaths causes the entire mining operation to be shut down. Many bodies are never recovered. On the 19th of January 1973, Archaic becomes aware of events in Greenland. On the 1st of April 1973, construction begins on Shelter Research Station on site of abandoned northwestern iron mine. In 1975, the shelter construction complete. Key members include Overseer Bren Stafferson, Chemist Troy Rettenesque, and Translator Howard Lafresque. In 1990, shelter operations expand to secondary excavation sites, including Site B, the Water Cave. On the 12th of September, 1991, Troy Rettenesque replaced by Neil Oswald as attending chemist at Site B. On the 6th of January, 1992, Substance 63 and Ar Artifact 66B discovered at Site B. On the 20th of 19, or February, 1992, Site B closed due to hostile local fauna. I can't remember, does fauna refer to plants or animals? I, I don't really see flora and fauna used to, too much anywhere, so... Not really sure as to the semantics of such words. On the 3rd of March, 2000. Primary excavation uncovers Turngate Tomb. Excavation complete, continued despite protests from Howard Lafresque. On the 27th of April, 2000. Investigation of Turngate Tomb scheduled by Chief Overseer Wilbur Frisk. I think they eventually found out just how bad an idea that was. Nineteen seventy. Hey, some of these are missing from this. Fauna. Peters discovers worm. Look how that M is oversized. Yeah, twentieth December, nineteen seventy. Mine worker Tom Redwood goes missing. Okay, okay. Construction. Shelter complete. Shelter operations. Yada, yada, yada. Hard to see photographs. Now let's call up the save point here. There's something reassuring about that feeling. Like I've got one less thing to worry about. Hmm. I'm guessing that's a little X there. Uh, perhaps icon is in the way. No CD found in drive. Research.txt, eh? Right on the desktop. Sorry. Uh, my my research has uncovered something fascinating. Time and time again, I warned Overseer Frisk that I needed time to perform a full textual analysis before my translation could be considered complete. He went ahead with an evacuation ex excavation anyway, and now he's paid the price. The facility's current oh my god security level is high enough that no trace of it exists beyond the confines of these walls. Not even the archaic central case to have records of its location. In fact, the only link to this place in the outside world is the notes they left behind many years ago. However, since the virus was released over one year ago, no rescue attempts have been made. Not one person has tried to enter the facility. Just before the virus re was released, I sent a message out to someone I could trust. I can only assume that my son, Philip, has received the note and done as I asked. No matter what happens down here, at least I can rest easy in knowing that no trace remains of this place, that these secrets will stay buried here. I've discovered over the years 
never to put too much weight on any one discovery, but the information I now hold is vital to not just our survival, but the future of our species. First thing in the morning, I intend to call on volunteers to set out into the infected area of the shelter. No one will come, but I shall ask all the same. I'll make a move for the library research station first, then it's all unknown variables. After that, I shall simply have to put faith in this discovery. If I am too wrong about this, I will barely make it through residential. To think I left my family for this place, for this organization, which is more horrible, that I have to sacrifice something so dear, or that I do not regret it for a second. Howard Lafresque, Chief Translator. Hmm. Something tells me this is not the best of ideas, so I'll just leave that alone for now. Let's uh, put the CD in there. The CD slid in perfectly. I should be able to read it now. Welcome to Shelter Research Station, Greenland. Shelter is an almost entirely self-sufficient installation built in the 70s to further serve the purposes of the archaic elevated caste in their pursuit and defense of ancient knowledge. As a new member of the facility, there are some basic rules you should be aware of in order to be useful to the archaic. Shelter provides living facilities, including a mess hall, gymnasium, and medical bay, in addition to the stipulated array of laboratories, chemical and biological, workstations, excavation equipment, and security. Please use the former at your leisure, but expect to be assigned to the latter with a moment's notice. Second, due to the nature of our work here, should you feel in any way ill, lightheaded, or otherwise mentally incapacitated, do not report to the medical facility. Fasten yourself securely to whatever solid object may be available, attempt to seal all connecting doors, and await retrieval by our trained professionals. In a worst-case scenario, be prepared to swallow your personal cyanide capsule, which will be issued after this briefing. The Archaic hates to lose its treasured staff, but it may be for the good of the operation. We know you will enjoy your work with us. All a bit cheery, aren't you? And it makes it sound like they knew all this was going to happen. Conspiracy, I say. You don't need to read that. That was in the video. Important update. Do the the following password changes have been made since the printing of the personal guide? Door 456 is 4167. I assume this is going to be copied down to the notes. Door number 332 is 63345. Door number 236 is 1167. 126 1123. As always, the above information is strictly confidential as not to be spread to other members. That's why you leave the compact disc out in the mess hall. Yep, as I figured. 236. Yeah, no need to open the notes. 236, 1167. One, one, six, seven. War. I may never get used to that. Hmm. A bit peculiar as to why this... Oh, no, that's not the right way to use that word. A bit peculiar such a room as this being locked. King Arthur Flower. So far I'm seeing a flare, a few packages, or a few bags of flour and... Unreadable. And a crate. Whoop. Ah, okay. 
So let's get on the ladder without falling to our deaths. Cause that would be terrible. This passage caved in long ago. I won't be able to get through here, obviously. Why did... It looked like the vision got all blurry when it looked this way. Strange. Hmm. Uh, no saying anything about the battery not being battery efficient, or the flashlight not being battery efficient? The sewers seemed like the only route out, but it wasn't out that I wanted anymore. My father had found something, and I needed to, needed to know what. Without that, everything would have been for nothing. Click to continue. How familiar. No going back this way. Okay. Slugs. Bastard slugs. Ah, oh, batteries. Life. This is strange, really strange. Almost as strange as this particular loading screen taking so long. I'll have to see about cutting this. I fear if I stop the recording, I won't be able to start it up in time. this place. I've been here before. Just not so shaky. Ah, I could use some of this right now. Damn. <clears throat> An empty shelf. Did I put that can there? No, but I put it here. I said I put it here. That's the same music and everything. You know, the shadows definitely look a lot better. Hmm. Maybe they're not uh, stencil shadows anymore. Out of my way. Out of my way. A locked chest. Seems to be a photograph. Let's have a look at the rest of the room first. Nothing in there. I remember forgetting to put this on. Good job, Philip. Whatever, so damn cold. I'm not going to say anything about it. It's a perfect picture of this room. Almost. So what's... What's wrong with it? Well, you know, other than the stuff I threw over there. Out of the way.
Hmm. Okay, so no chair at the desk. The chest is supposed to be under the table. The can is meant to be on the shelves. Well, it is on the shelves, but I want it to be over here. Still almost. Ah, the barrel. At the very least, I'm assuming that it wants me to. What was the. Uh, it's not the little eyeball icon around here. Anyway, I'm, I'm assuming. It, no order without chaos. God. This added voice acting is kind of throwing me off at times. Oh god, we're in Silent Hill. A picture of, I'm not sure, eggs? These barrels are filled with ashes. The coffin? It's not a coffin, that's a chest. There's barbed wire on the beds. Half of the pictures are gone. It smells like burnt flesh. Service is slippery and with a leathery texture. Guys, the spiders again, isn't it? to do with this. I can tell you that rotating this damn bucket around seems to be quite buggy. There we go. It actually worked that time. Pick it up when I hold down the button. Come on, don't tell me my mouse is breaking now. Okay, that's clearly not right. Oh, that looks like a bear trap now. So what about the eggs? Ah, I'm supposed to put it on the picture. Woo! Oh god. Okay, never mind. I don't have to worry about it attacking me now. Still smells like burnt flesh. Whoa! Here, you can have the bucket. Oh, God. It's rotting, crawling with maggots. And I get the feeling it's going to get up now. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just do one of the fucking... <laughs> uh, physics. Um, okay, I'm guessing you have to put it on the hands. How about I slam your head against the wall a couple times, you dirty bastard. Make an overture hell. It's peculiar. Whoa. Whoa. That is a black hole. Whoa. That's fire. What's worse, black holes or fire? I don't know. I just got pulled into the black... Okay. Well, this is definitely starting to get real creepy. 
my back's all tense. I need to get this door open. It's the only way to go. I have a hunch this valve might control the door. My hand is warm to the touch. Okay. I'll shake your hand and make it catch on fire, I guess. I just turn the valve. It's stuck. Okay, so I'm, I thought there might be a purpose to this, but maybe not with that hand. Ah, perhaps I'm supposed to set them all up so they stay on fire. I think I get it now. It's a puzzle related to order. I'm supposed to put them up in a certain order. Okay. Warm in here. Ah, stupid voiceovers. Ruining my chance to voice over myself. Hmm. Some oddly placed barrels. 